there, YouTube Dad here, back with quarantine hair and a beard, which is weird, because I normally don't have those things. <laughs> Today, we're talking about how you can easily make your footage more stable. Three easy tips is what I'm going to teach you, and that's what today's video is about. I sound like Perd Happily from Parks and Rec. <laughs> Tip number one, shoot in slow motion. Now, a lot of people shoot their videos in 24 frames per second or 30 frames per second, and let's be honest, you should shoot in 24 frames per second for A-roll, like shots like this, unless you're a tech YouTuber like MKBHD or something, but you're probably not. <laughs> if you wanna shoot in slow motion, you wanna set your frame rate to 60 frames per second or 120 frames per second if your camera allows it. Now today, I'll be showing you how to do it with my Canon 5D Mark IV, which is a common camera many photographers have who are looking to get started in video. So I hope it's relevant and applicable for you. This is what 24 frames per second looks like if you shoot something handheld. And this is what it looks like when you shoot in 60 frames per second and slow down the footage to 40% speed. The reason the footage looks smoother is because there are two and a half times as many frames shot per second when shooting 60 frames per second versus 24 frames per second, resulting in a smoother output of continuous motion. Is it perfect? No. Is it smoother than 24 frames per second? Yes. So a pro tip for you, you can apply warp stabilizer to your slow motion footage in post. I use Premiere Pro and as long as the footage isn't like ridiculously shaky, warp stabilizer does wonders when it's set to uh, the default subspace warp and applied with the intensity of one to 10%. Tip two, build a cage or add weight to your rig. The whole last year I decided to build out my Canon 1DX Mark II into like a pseudo cinema camera in an effort to feel more like my recent purchase of the C200, which I'm shooting on right now. The addition of the top handle allows you to move the camera lower to the ground and just around more in general. And this kind of rig also allows options for you to spread your hands out more away from the camera to minimize that handheld shake. It also lends you to uh, more options for points of contact, like into your chest. If you can get two hands on the rig and some other body part, like I said, the chest is usually good. <laughs> and you'll reduce that shake even more when doing that. Now a pro tip for this, you can add more weight with rails and a counterweight to the back to reduce shake and movement even more while carrying the rig by the top handle. This also helps when flying the rig on something like an easy rig stabilizer, which is that backpack looking thing with the... Tip three, use a gimbal. The gimbal is the uncontested champion of smooth footage for the run and gun videographer. And sure, you could get flawless motion with a slider or a jib or something like that, but a gimbal allows you to move uh, the camera in pretty much any direction you'd like with almost no shake at all. My friends over at Zayun sent me their Weeble S gimbal, which is a perfect make and model for the 5D Mark IV and other cameras similar to its size, like the EOS R or Sony Panasonic mirrorless cameras. And side note, Zayun is not sponsoring this video. They just sent me this gimbal for this video. So thank you, Zayun. I appreciate you very much, thank you. I've been using their Crane 2 for over two years now, and I'm super excited to have this little compact beast for future work. I did purchase the C200, which I'm shooting on right now, which would be too large for this gimbal, but I also plan on picking up a Canon R5 once it comes out, which will be perfect for this gimbal because of its size and form factor. So let's just look at some example footage with this gimbal. Pro tip, apply tip number one to the use of this gimbal. Slow motion and post-production stabilization will turn that footage into absolute butter. That was stupid. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope that was helpful to you. If you have any questions, please ask them down in the comments. I love talking to you all down there. This was your YouTube dad, giving you three tips for that buttery, smooth footage. All right, later.